I think he kicks ass straight up. Uh, hell yeah. Huh? Fuck yeah, man. I'm a fucking stamp. Fuck yeah, I got like four already. Yeah. Huh? Fuck yeah, man. He looks fine as fuck. When I know, because my little brother only lives across the street, uh -huh. and he's the one that was telling me, "Oh hell, bro!" I said, "What? Who shot it? Huh? Who shot it? The gang member. Gang member shot that car. See, they were they were trying to act like the gang members themselves trying to buy drugs, but they found out they were not." And they found out there were narcs? Yeah, because when I got new one, there was narcs. Then the yeah, gang? I remember that from... Well, he wasn't needed to go back in the same area. Uh. You don't go back in the same area that you, they know you. Man. That, it's surprising that's all that happened to it. I got started in the rap game. It's kind of a little bit of a weird story. I always rapped in the neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? Just going to house party back in 93. Back in the days, you know what I'm saying? Uh, little house parties we used to go. I'd get on the mic, there'd be different neighborhoods there. We'd you know, put it down for our water, put it down. At the end of the night, we'd start scrapping. And you know, since those days, you know, the little backyard parties, you know, they, everyone used to come up to me and goes, man, you, you can rap and shit, you know, you should take your shit serious. Back then, I, I didn't give a fuck, I was just rapping for my neighborhood, just rapping about, you know, my little locked out neighborhood, you know what I'm saying, that I was in. Just talking about the streets. And as that progressed, you know, I just always fucked around, but never took it serious until I got locked up. And when I was locked up, you know, I don't know how it came to me, how it, like, you know, all of a sudden it came through, but... I was in jail just thinking like what I'm gonna do about my life. Cause you know, you know, as you get older you gotta start thinking about the future. And I'm like, I'm sitting in a jail cell in a two-man cell, and I'm just, just sitting there like, you know, on lockdown, just thinking. And then this guy next door to me was talking about rapping. You know, he, he was a black guy talking about his rap thing. And I was I was just sitting there and thinking to myself, damn, if I ever took that shit serious, I know I could fucking put the shit down, you know what I'm saying? I knew, you know, there's like some, some kind of market behind, there's got to be something, that there's got to be people who live in the same lifestyle as me, and they got to feel my stuff. So I always thought in my head, you know, and then something came to my head and said, if I ever fucking meet any rapper on the streets, I got to fucking pursue that shit because, you know, they are talking about other rappers. I was like, if I ever meet anybody on the streets about rapping, I got to jump in there and I know the kind of guy I am. I'll go in there and make sure I try to make it happen. So here I go, I get out. 